Hey everybody, um, this is Dallas. I'm coming with you with Pregnancy Vlog, week 24. Um, anyway, so, so far everything has been great with the baby. A lot of kicking, punching, usual thing that hurts mommy. Well, it doesn't really hurt, but it just, ow, that hurt, you know, that kind of. Whoa, did you feel that? And lately, the my fiancé has been feeling a lot of the kicks. Like, we were laying there, he just told, touched my stomach, and he could just kick, pow. And he's like, whoa. I'm like, yeah, so cute, whatever. Um. Anyways, this week, my baby has um reached 8.5 inches long and is 1.5 pounds. Um, also, you guys, look at my hair. You like it? It's a wig. It's covering up all my nappiness. I might add some curls to this. It's curls. I might start going along with these wigs like this because I usually don't go for the bang because I usually don't look right in bangs. But I will make a deception for this one because this baby, I like it a little. You know, it's kind of cute. Anyways, back to my vlog, whatever. Um, so, baby is now starting to practice to breathe because it has now has just some kind of liquid in its lung that, you know, it helps the lungs to expand and close, whatever. It's starting to breathe in amniotic fluid and pee, which is nasty. Poor little thing. Just imagine it. We had to do that thing before we got here, too. Ew. I saw a pee. <laughs> Anyways, um, I have gotten bigger. Much bigger. Well, not really, but really. Um, So far with me, I have been experiencing some weird things. Like the other night when I was asleep, I woke up and like my vision was so weird. Like everything around me was red. Not red, so a dark red, like a fuzzy red color. I don't know how to explain the color. But it was red and it was like a blurry, like a 3D vision. It's that, you know how you see 3D without the glasses? And you had, you had, you had the red and blue colors. It's that mine was red and blue was red, all red. Like a light red and a dark red vision. And like I was like, whoa. And I felt funny. I was tingling all over. My heart was pounding and stuff. And I was having a headache. I just felt weird. And then... Um... I believe this has something to do with, I think I looked up the symptoms and it's talking about diabetes and stuff. I don't know. I hope not. I'm ghetto, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, and then I believe I'm, I'm starting to have panic attacks. Because when I was getting my ultrasound done, I don't know if I told you guys in my last video, but when I was getting my ultrasound done, my heart was racing. I could feel it beating in my ears. I started to sweat a little bit and I got like I felt nervous for no apparent reason. And it just made me scared. And then when she told me what I was having, I was so nervous to know what I was having. And when she told me and it was what I wanted, and I still felt the same. So I was like, what is wrong with me? I try to do slow down and breathe and stuff, but that wasn't happening. So I believe there's some issues going on that I need to resolve before Mr. Man gets here or before my due date gets near. But um yeah. A lot of health issues with me. Um I go to do my gestational diabetes test on the twenty first of February this month. Hopefully they'll be able to give me some information. I hope I don't have gestational diabetes because uh, I'm not gonna be taking those shots. I already don't like getting shots when I go to the doctor's office. Why would I want to take it every day? But if it keeps me from having a fat baby or having to have a cesarean, give me a shot. But 
I don't know. It's a lot of health risks with the gestational diabetes and cause your baby to come up fat and it cause it to be born with low sugar. I think low sugar. Yeah, something like that. But anyways, I don't know. I just don't like it at all. But it's kind of scary. But as far as the baby go, the baby's doing pretty good. The heart rate, the heart rate is still up, and I'm thinking about ordering me a fetal heartbeat, you know, monitor thingy, you know, the little thing you put in your belly. Yeah, I've been looking on eBay for some stuff, and I've been also looking for baby stuff since I know what I'm having. I'm having a precious little boy. I'm so happy that I'm having a little boy. But anyway, um, I also I was thinking about changing the name. Gabriel, I like it, but I have thought of another name and it's caught my attention. Mr. Kyrene. Not Mr. Kyrene, but Kyrene or Kyren or Akari or my sister and my fiance like the name Kaden. I don't know about Kaden though. I know too many people with kids named Caden, so I don't know. I don't. I want a unique name. I don't want something that's everybody have. So if you guys have a unique name that you don't mind sharing or me stealing, please comment below and let me know. But uh, also, I've been wondering, you know, since I'm almost almost to my third trimester. Um, what are some things I should be doing, like as far as packing and getting ready for the baby, just in case, you know, some babies are born early and there's problems and stuff, you know, how should I prepare for these things just in case they do arise and other things. But anyways, I'm running out of breath. I'm getting a little thirsty. I need some water. Hold on. Let me get out the way. Yes. I've been dehydrated. The reason I found out because I went to the doctor, they told me I was dehydrated. And I realized that when I wake up in the morning, sometimes my mouth like dry feeling. And like when I breathe in, my throat get crackled up and dry. And also, um, when I'm like breathing through my nose, it'll crack up and dry up and then I have nosebleeds. So, yeah, that's not fine at all. But... I also been tired a lot lately. I mean, I thought all that goes away during the first trimester, but I don't think so. With my case, I'm thinking gestational diabetes is causing my sugar to be high, and when I don't eat, my sugar get low. So I'm sorry. This wig is too pretty. I'm trying to fix it. It's too cute. I'm sexy. I can't help it. I'm just kidding. This is the first wig I finally got since I've been pregnant. Is it? No, this is the second one. But the first one, it was like okay, but it went all that, you know. And no, I'm not a Nicki Minaj fan. So, don't you think I'm trying to mark her? If I did, this would have been pink. Just have to point that out there because my little sister's Nicki Minaj crazy. But, anyways, um, also, um, instead of me buying. A nursing bra. I have been leaking a little bit, but it hasn't been so bad that sometimes it do stick to my shirt, but it's like like itsy bitsy, you know. And also, it's instead of it being clear now, it's starting to be like a cloudy whitish yellow color now. So I think it's becoming normal. Also, I bought me well, my mom bought me instead of buying a regular bra, she bought an all day comfort bra from Fred's. It's um, it's a 2X. Hopefully I can fit in it because my chest has grown huge. I actually went up like four to five sizes. No. I think four or six sizes. Yeah, four or six sizes. Why does this keep sticking up? It looks like it's brown on this side and black on this side, which it is. But it's like supposed to be mixed. I don't know. But I still like it. I don't like this sticking up. Whatever. Anyways, um, this is the bra. It's 
Okay, let me see if I can put this down right here and show you guys. Okay. So, this is the bra. Yes, it's big because I'm big. I'm about plus size, as you know. And this is how it fits on the back. So, it looks very supportive. And it's a 2X. And I think I will be wearing this a lot. And it only costs seven seven ninety five for two. It came with a black one and a nude one right here. So, I like it. Hopefully, I'll be wearing it. But well, anyways, guys, I'm going to show you my belly. And I'm going to go. <sighs> okay. Don't left my clothes. Okay. This is, let me get some more light. This, oh my goodness, like, this right here. This is 24 weeks, by the way. Side, front, oh my goodness. Front, and other side. Hope you guys enjoy it. But, <laughs> Well, all I have for this week, nothing really been, been big, been happening besides me and daddy. Been on good terms, finally. <sighs> and I've been a lot of stressed, relaxed since this week became. Well, well, not became, but begun. And things are looking pretty good. Besides school, it stressed me out, but I'm going to get work done, so that's good. Well, guys, that's all I have to talk about. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.